Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Right, we got a special guest tonight joining us. Uh, hey, first, round, first round draft pick. Guy had an outstanding season this year for the San Francisco 49ers. Brandon IU. Brandon, how you doing? Can you hear us? What's good? Can you hear me? Yeah, we got you, bro. Yeah. Hey, B, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's good? What's up? Well, hey, I like them jerseys back there. You need the 85 back there, baby. Send me one. Yeah, well, hey, no problem. No problem. Amazon, Amazon got next day. Just send me the address. <laughs> All right. Brandon, how you? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go ahead, go no, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, what we we in uh we in March, we're getting ready to head into April, right? Have you started working out yet? I just started this week. You started this week? We we you down, you down on the West Coast or East Coast? I'm in Cali. I'm in the Bay right now. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just I want to throw this out there. If you want to get some work in, you know, I play DV and I just want to see if you really like that. I know what I saw on, on film, I know what I watched throughout the season. And if you want to get some work in, I just want to see if you can get open. For so, for so. Sound like you, you nervous? For so. <laughs> What's up, man? What's y'all on? Man, <laughs> hey, we good, bro. Hey, talk to us about the season. You go into the season. Okay, you train the offseason. You go in the mindset says, okay, I need to be on one this year. I need to, because, you know, maybe they feel a certain type of way. Maybe they say, well, uh, yeah, Brandon, you're doing okay. But can you can you be that number one if something were to happen to Debo? If, mm-hmm. if you know, so what's your mindset going into a season? Uh, I think just the mindset is getting ready to be my best self, just getting ready to uh, have my body match up with what I want to do mentally. If I can uh, tell my body to do this and do that and it can go along with it, then I feel like I'm in great shape to have a great season. Uh, so that's just that's just the mindset. Get my body to be the best that it could be uh, for 23, 24 weeks because that's the mindset. That's 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 how long we we getting used to playing now. So um, that's all the mindset is. You go okay. You have a mindset. So it's okay. If I'm healthy, I want to be able. I want my mind to match my body. I've done everything I needed to do in the off season. The way I ate, the way I trained, the way I prepared, the way I focused. I don't know if you have a, a, a sports a psychologist, but my mind is in a great place. You go through the season, you're healthy. You have the type of season that you thought you should have. And mm-hmm. now you guys get to the playoffs and you're playing well and you get to the Super Bowl. Talk us through that Super Bowl because you guys came out on fire. You had a lead, a 10-point lead for very much of the ball game, and then you let it get away. They tied up in regulation, take it to overtime, and you guys uh, unfortunately lose that ball game. So tell me what's your mindset and what's the team mindset in that game going into the game? Uh, Going into the game, just going into the game, playing our best ball, trying to play trying to play clean ball, playing football because – when we do that, we win. We win ball games. So just trying to play clean, trying to play our brand of football. But uh, yeah, that was it. Um, mm. The game uh, it went a different direction than we thought. You know, we 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 were trying to grasp hold of it multiple times in the game, but we just couldn't. We just couldn't fully grasp it, um, and we never did. So could you got. You guys mm-hmm. had a 10 point lead. I mean, you guys were in control. And I and I, I was talking about having been in games like this, uh, Brandon. I'm like, when you have control of the game, how much separation can you put between you and the other team when you have that control? Because you know they're gonna get it yeah. eventually. You're not gonna hold have the momentum throughout the entirety of the game. So, how much separation did you say that damn man? You look up, you're like, man, we outplayed them the whole game, and they only down by seven points, they only down by three points. The whole game. I mean, the whole game. I think it was a, uh, it was multiple times. Just starting off the game. I think, like you said, we was ten zero, seven three, seven whatever. When we was up, I don't, I can't remember exactly, but we was up, and there was multiple, uh, multiple times where defense going out there getting stops, going out there going stops, getting going out there getting stops. But we coming off the field too, so it was in, the, it was in those moments where you are like this game, especially who we playing on the other side, where it's just like you never at ease just because you're like we got to stay on the field, we got to put points up because. We already know how we know we've seen this story too many times. So and unfortunately we've seen it when we seen it another time. But <laughs> right. like like y'all said, man, we back to it. I, I just started to climb back up this week. 
I just, you know, I was chilling. I, I enjoyed my birthday in March. I was in, I was in Mexico cooling with the fam. Happy birthday. Chilling. Happy birthday. Appreciate that. And then just just getting just getting right, just getting back ready to try to climb back up again. That's that's yeah. That's all it is. And trying to get some and trying to get, you know, trying to get something else on the, before that. Before yeah, yeah. that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. speak hey, speaking of speaking of something else before that, listen, you one of the best in the league. I'm talking about top five. Listen, your resume, it speaks for itself. You're going into your fifth season. Last year, you had 75 catches, 1,300 some yards, seven TDs, and you was ranked second in the NFL in YPC, right? So that speaks for itself. So there should be no discussion when it comes to taking care of you when it comes to your value. Ray second, Charles, I'm, 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 sick, look, I'm, I'm sick about that second one because look, the yeah. whole entire, that, that which is YPC. Yes, sir. I, I was sick. I finished second. Look. Who you know for who was you know who was first? Who first? Pickens. Pickens was first. Pickens had Pickens. So the whole I'm leading it the whole entire year. I'm leading the whole entire year. Why YPC. Right. Last game of the season. I think uh Pickens didn't have no catches in the last game of the season. Last right. game of the season, uh what's his name? Purdy ain't play. They sent me out there. Right. And I and I lost it in the last week. So I'm mad about that one. I should be yeah. saying one, but it's all yeah. Yeah, but it's 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 listen, there's there's certain things that that we can see from the outside looking in. I can see. So when it comes to, and I hate, I hate most of the time, you know, players don't really like to talk about their contract negotiations or anything having to do with money, but I, I will do it for you. You don't have to say anything, but Appreciate that. you are so fucking valuable to that offense. You are what I call a true number one who can play on the outside. You can play on the inside. You can beat, you can beat any goddamn covers there is that's out there. You're one of the few players in the NFL that plays receiver where you don't need your offensive coordinator's help to get open. When when your coach tell you, I need you to get open here on third and two or whatever it is, no matter what they got lined up in front of you, you one of the few that can go out there and get open on the muscle. So I don't understand what the issue is over there with the GM and your owners, but just understand you deserve to get paid. And I ain't just talking about no any money. I'm talking about 30, 32 a year. And I need three percent. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I yeah, appreciate love, that. Always, hey, always. Hey, I appreciate. It. I ain't have to say because you know what I'm saying. Yeah, don't 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 do that. Don't do that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So so Brandon, when obviously your your representative have been talking to uh, John Lynch, who's the general manager, and there've been the, the swirlings uh, about he's going to get traded, blah blah blah. But John Lynch came out earlier this week and said, "I promise you, nothing is going on there." And then you had the IG story with the emojis. The money, the talking, the BS, and the walking. So what's what's been relayed to you as much as you can divulge, what's been relayed to you through your representative? That we're trying to get work done. They're trying to get work done. I mean they trying to get work done. Uh, are you that's that's, are that's, you, that's, that's that's all I that's all I can say. Uh, y'all know how y'all know how it gets. I don't even yeah. wanna I don't even yeah. want to get too far into that, yeah, but yeah. you know, I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to get like, like, like what Ocho just said. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to get what I, what I deserve. I felt like this season, um, this season playing football, I figured out who I was as a person, as a player, what I bring to the table, what I bring to the locker room, what I bring, um, to organization, um, and just the value I hold when I walk in that building because. Uh, people gonna follow me because I've done it the right way since I've been in that building from the, from, from, the, from, the, from the the first day I walked in there to when I was in there earlier this morning. Done it the right way. So, um, and if 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 they don't see it worth in that, that's all. That's all it is. That's all yeah. it is. It ain't nothing else. It ain't nothing else besides that. But I can't. Like I said, I can't get into it. Um, we got professionals working on both sides. So hopefully we can come to a professional agreement and uh, continue to play professional football. Like it, I like it. I, I mean, played in the offense for a number of years, Brandon, and I know one thing as a wide receiver: you get rewarded for blocking. Mm -hmm. You're one of the better blocking wide receivers, mm -hmm. and you have to in order to have the running back to have success. Because now, when you're blocking downfield, you Debo Jennings, Kittle, those four and five yards turn into 20, 25, 30, 40 yards. Mm -hmm. How much pride do you guys, as a unit, take pride in blocking? Uh, so much pride, so much pride. That's the one thing. Uh, <clears throat> before the routes, before touchdowns, before any of the stuff that you see, um, uh, it just started with that. Um, uh, and I think I think once we once we as a room as a unit, um, previously in the past we came uh, especially Debo George guys like that. 
um, we came up and we just said, you know what, this that's it. That's gonna be that's like that's the standard is the standard. That's what it's gonna be. So uh, we're gonna start with that. And I feel like and I feel like uh, the moment I start blocking like that, it just kind of carried over into the way that I ran routes, the way that I released, the way that I just play just play the game. Just if you had that attacking mindset um, mm-hmm. that you gonna that. I'm just gonna put hands on this guy. I'm, he's not gonna make play. He's he's X from this play. The next one now. Now you got a route on third down, third down. You're already in the game. You're already flown. You already. That's how I feel personally. I'm already. I'm already. I'm already in the game. I already done made a play. I didn't. I didn't set C Mac free uh, yeah. for a 35. He didn't crease one because I didn't made a block. Now I don't. I'm. I'm already had a. It feels like I already caught a caught a ball. Now that first play that might come to me because I might not. I only might get five or six. So I got to. I got to make. I got to make five or six. So uh, playing with that mindset, I feel like it helped me a lot. So. It just that's what it came down to, to the blocking too as well. That's live. Like, hey, listen, I, that and that's the funny thing about it is you. Listen, I already talked about you as a receiver. Obviously, we know what you could do as a receiver, but you are you you like what I I consider complete because when it came to blocking, I was horrible. I was I was you wasn't you wasn't blocking you wasn't blocking. Not, I would no I I, no. I, I I just run people off. I'm 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 too little. I couldn't even bench one thirty five, so I just run people off. I ain't got time to be engaging in in something that I'm gonna lose. Now, from what I heard, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> from what I heard, if I'm not mistaken, I heard you could squat almost 500 pounds. Back when I back when I used to squat like that, I don't squat like that no more. No, well, you could squat 500 pounds. I mean, put it on. I'll put. I probably could put it on there. I'll, I'll, I'll squat it, but we ain't working out like that. <laughs> you gotta save them legs now, man. Hey, nah. five hundred pound squat leg. They don't run. They don't get in and out of breaks. I gotta start and stop. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Let me, Brandon. Let me ask you this: the play before you guys kicked the field goal in overtime, you guys had a play, and I don't know how many people have seen it, but I know you've gone back and watched that tape because Legarius Sneed missed the jam. And you come wide open, but Chris Jones came free and pressured mm. Purdy, and he mm. ends up throwing the ball away. How many times have you replayed that play in your mind? None. I like none. It because it's like, well, first of all, that play wasn't going to me. That that we we running, we running, uh, we running, we running slant return to to JJ in the slot. Okay. Mm. Um, and I already know this, there's no way this come back. I don't think it's gonna come all the way back to me. I already know this play, this play going here. It's a so, front side play. Yeah, front side play. So I don't even, I don't even too much think about that play. It's the play, it's the plays way long before that. It's the plays oh, okay. way long before that 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 get to me because we had multiple chances long before that one to even to. So I don't I don't put too much on that play, but yeah, I don't put too much. Yeah. Have you thought have you thought about the Super Bowl and the missed opportunities that you guys had? I'm I ain't gonna lie. Until before I went to, to Cabo for my birthday. I was in the house like just run like a zombie. Like I was like it, it just wasn't good. So I found I got to go, I got to go out there and, and relax and and get away from it. Now I'm finally just now able able to move forward a little bit. Um, but even just still, just still because because it's just like <laughs> champion. Oh my god! I come back. I come in my house and I got uh, you know I got uh, I'm a, I'm a big Bron fan, but I got Kobe. I got Kobe. I got a picture of Kobe holding, and I got a picture of myself shaking Tom Brady hand in my in my crib. And I just get back. I'm just sitting there couple weeks after the game looking at that picture the day when i got back looking at that picture like i didn't really understand the magnitude of what i just had in front of me until now i'm here on this on this other side um and i don't get to hold it so but at the same time i'm grateful for it, it gave me it gave me it gave me another it gave me it gave me something else to to see and work towards too because i'm already i'm already it's a fact i'm a top receiver in this league it's a fact um you know anything receiver wise it's a fact we don't have to even get into it but right. i'm not a champion so it gave me, it gave me another, it gave me something to work, to strive and work towards too, and mm-hmm. and want to get back on this climb again. Speaking of, Brandon, speaking of, I want to ask you, I'm going to ask you about your quarterback, Brock Purdy. Man, he passed over four thousand, had thirty one touchdowns. Obviously, he was third in the NFL with those stats, but for some reason, he still has some doubters. What do you think is a case for that? And what is it like playing with Brock? Uh, I mean, he played on the Niners. He they don't want. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to. They gonna. They gonna take forever. They gonna take until the last moment possible to say, "All right, you know, we are gonna give him his credit." You know, but that's right. just that's we 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 cool with that. We cool with that. He's that. He's. He, I feel like he's an underdog. Um, myself, I feel like I'm an underdog. Um, but you can't hold an underdog down for too long. Like you can't hold him down. No matter how hard, how hard you try, you ain't gonna hold him down. So, 
Uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed playing with him. I had a lot of fun playing with him. Uh, like, but the, we we only we had only just got started, so we'll see what we'll see what happens down going down the road. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll continue to uh, praise him. Which no matter how it goes, that he he nice he nice for real. So he nice. He Brandon, nice. Like, he nice. You in that draft, I mean, you look at your draft, you had Hendy Ruggs and Jerry Judy, yourself, uh, CD, Justin Jefferson, uh, uh, Jalen Reger, uh, uh, mm-hmm. Pittman, and T. Higgins was in the second round, uh, uh, Mooney. I mean, yeah. that that draft was loaded. Yeah. But where would you rank yourself? Where would you consider yourself, not just in your draft class, but with all the receivers, the Tyreeks, the, the, uh, the Devontae Adams, all those guys, where 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 is Brandon Yayuk in that in that in that talk in that conversation? I'm gonna say it like this: I don't like I don't even want to get too much into ranking and this and that. But I'll say this: the one thing that we could go up based off of that's not gonna tell us no lies. That's not going. It don't have no pins. It don't have. It's not. It's not leading any direction. Is the tape? We cut the tape on for 22 weeks of football. Nobody else can't say they played 22 some weeks of football. They can't. They can't. Whoever anybody would you just name. They can't say they've been a three NFC champions championship game. They can't say they've been a, you know what I'm saying? Like, so everybody doing all this, but we trying to, it's something else. I, we already passed yards. We already passed yards and, and touchdowns. Of course, we're going to get yards and touchdowns. Can't nobody stick us. We, we, it's the reason why you're bringing us up. But what else are we going to bring? What else, where else are we going to take it to? Right. We, it's the reason why it's, we talk about Patrick, Patrick Mahomes every single every single day because <laughs> nobody can't do nobody can't do nobody can't do that nobody doing that. What we chasing? Right. What, like here here where we was at just at we feel like I just seen some somebody comment say Purdy supposed to have two championships. I mean of course they can say supposed to have, but I read that and I I, I saw that and I said it it, it could have went he could he we could be sitting here right now with two with two championships so mm-hmm. that's the only thing i'm on we i'm worried about championships right now i'm i'm championships 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 i ain't trying to get into who's number 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 number 1 have you been to the playoffs have you been to a champ, a super bowl have you been no so i'm not even going championship <laughs> Yeah. There, there's a photo of uh, Mike Tomlin. You are split. You, I think you retweeted it. Uh, of Mike Tomlin, and you was like, "Hey, you tweeted a picture of you and Mike." Said, "Hey, they say we're twins. What do you think? How surprised are you that that fo- photo has garnered the attention that it has? <laughs> y'all do kind of look like twins, Brandon, or y'all are cousins or something." Dog bowed back at my dog bowed from uh, South Carolina. You look like him, but. Uh... <laughs> nah, uh, nah. I mean that piece. I mean that piece, It was it was funny. I had seen it like right after the Super Bowl. You know they trying to they trying to kick you while you already down. So I'm like, all right, it's cool. Y'all get it. y'all get at me. Y'all get at me. It's it's all good. I, I'll take it. Uh, I'll because you know, and I was I was talking. I've been talking shit for they got they got it. So then they got me again. But it was cool. I just said I just brought it back full circle because uh, I felt like I was waking up like this this uh like every day every day while you under uh negoti- negotiating or whatever you want to call contract talks every day is like a different day so it's just like that so I, I had woke up so i was like you know what like i keep bringing i keep bringing up my birthday i said you know what? i'm not even gonna say nothing i'm just gonna leave my exit alone i ain't gonna do nothing i'm just gonna wait till after my birthday and then i'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to put a little bit more pressure on them so um uh, uh i get I, I i get there i wake up i wake up Right after I wake up, and they talking about they talking about another team again. They talking about another team that they got me uh, supposed to be in the trade talks or whatever, whatever, whatever. So I said, "Hey, let me let me just go ahead and let me just if we want to make if everybody's saying this and this and that, let me go ahead and I'll just go. Let me just put out one of my little spots that I, I you know, and I'll revert back to Tom and we can have a little bit of fun with it. It's all it's all it's all in fun. It's all in fun. Like I said, we're professionals, but I'm it's it is what it is, man. But that that I, I that's that's where the Tom that came from." Yeah. I didn't know you from South Carolina. What part of Carolina are you from? No, I'm talking about my dog. I said you look like my dog Bo from South Carolina. My oh, dog, you my, dog, my yeah, yeah, my dog, uh, my dog Debo. Oh, Debo. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. I was like, damn, I didn't know. I thought you was from like Cali or something. No, I'm from Reno, Nevada. Reno, Nevada. Yes, sir. Oh, the biggest little city in. The- <laughs> you been over there? <laughs> I have not been over there, but I heard about it. No, I haven't been. Okay, to Reno. okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey bro, so anything else you anything else you want to share? Uh because listening from the outside, it sounds like 
you kind of disappointed that the contract negotiations haven't gone as smoothly as you anticipated, she, considering yeah. you've been a model citizen inside the building, you've been a model citizen out on the field, you've been a model citizen outside the facility. Well, look, let me ask y'all, do y'all know, do y'all know like the timing, the timing and the, everything that goes on with negotiation talks? Like, you, I, like I know, I know one thing for the skill position. If you're not a quarterback, we got to fight tooth and nail. So this is what we all have to go through. Yeah. We all have to go through this and it, it would all, it would always be like this no matter what, but you, you are handling it the right way because yeah. the market is the market. Your resume mm -hmm. is your resume. Your value is your value. Ray Charles can see what you can do. Other teams can also see what you could do. So they can play games if they want to. If they don't want to give you what you deserve, and I know what you deserve, other teams will give you what you deserve, and they're going to overpay for it if they let you walk out that door. So either way it go, either way you cut it, it's a win-win for you no matter what, based on your resume. So no, for, I, you, for you, you should be smiling every goddamn day no matter what, because you're <laughs> going to be good. For sure, yeah. for sure. I for get sure. your frustration, Brandon, because... Had you not performed like you have, they would have done traded you or released you. Oh, yeah. So now I've overperformed. Now I've compensate me for the work that I've done. Mm -hmm. I've had a couple of these, Brandon, early in my career. Uh, I held out, ended up having to hold out for two weeks. My 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 third contract, no, my fourth contract, I signed it the day before, the day of training camp. Mm. The day of training camp. And then uh they didn't, they didn't re-sign me. I go to Baltimore, win a championship, go to the Pro Bowl. They release me. I go back to Denver. So it's a, it's, I, I, I'll tell you like this. The best thing you can do is to keep your emotions in check. Mm -hmm. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. Because I know you're staying in constant contact with your, your representative. He's doing as good a job as he possibly can to keep you in the right frame of mind. Contract talks are going well. They have a you have. He probably haven't told you, but I think there's a number that that uh, uh, the 49ers have in mind. You kind of want to go over that number, and I believe you've earned the right to go over that number based on what you've done. Mm -hmm. And based, based on, on how what you're going you to yes, do. Yes, what you're yes, gonna do. yes. And that's the frustrating part. I, I, I Look, I've been a player, and I understand the business aspect from a team, but I believe you should reward your players for what they've done mm -hmm. and what you believe they can do. Mm -hmm. Now, if they don't think you, it's like, well, you know what? This was an isolated incident. They, they, know, 13, what's going, hey, they, know, they know what's going on. Come on. Now. Exactly. They know what's going on. Know yes. what's going on. I know what's going on. It's I, like, like I said, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not, it's business. It's business. And it's, it's multiple people involved in, in, in business. And we all trying to get to one thing. But like I said, they're going to do it with me or without me. You're gonna have a better chance with me. We just leave it at that. Yeah. We just yeah, leave it at I that. Like it. Control what you can control, which is your frame of mind and the work that you put in to be ready to go, wherever that may be. They know I'm gonna bay. be ready. You know I'm gonna be ready. You know I'm gonna be That's, ready. That's what I love to hear. They know I'm gonna be ready. Come on now. Brandon, I really appreciate you taking whoa, time whoa, out whoa, of your wait, schedule. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about our one-on-ones? We can one on we can one on one hoop. We can one on one hoop. We can one on one hoop. Now I play DB though. No, you don't play DB. What Thank you talking about? I was I was wait, wait, Brandon. I was drafted as a DB and they switched me to receiver because the DB room was full. I was I was a DB too. And I play and then I moved to receiver because I need that I need the pill in my hands. Okay. No. So you so you want to play basketball one on one? Yeah, I rather I rather hoop. I, I rather hoop. I rather hoop than do you like that, man? But you gonna but you gonna lose that. I just grabbed new. I just grabbed some new. I just got some new hoop shoes. I just grabbed. Uh, shout out to Adidas. I just grabbed some AE one. Some AE one. I'm trying to jump out the gym too. So I'm about to go hoop. All right, bet. That's gonna be my first content for TikTok. Me beating you in basketball. Yes, sir. Yes, Brandon. sir. Brandon, when he said he was drafted, that means he was running behind someone. He was drafting off them, you know, to try to get a, you know, he didn't want to exert that much energy. He was not drafted in no DB. But I want to take time right, right now. Can. Thank you for joining us on Nightcap. We really appreciate you giving us some of your time, offering insight to your game, what transpired during the season, the Super Bowl, and best of luck on this contract, but bro. Well-deserved, well-deserved. Whatever you get, you deserve it. You've earned it. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. Appreciate you having me on here. I've been, I've been, uh, anytime, I'm, 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 I'm welcome to come back anytime. I watch it in my cave all the time, so. Ew.
I was honored to pull up and talk to y'all. Chad, it's my right. first time ta- talking to Chad. Chad, Ocho. Yo. Yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, baby. I love you, man. Tell C-Mac. Tell yes, C-Mac. Sir. Tell C-Mac That's his love. favorite uncle said, what's up? For sure. We'll do. We'll do. All right. Appreciate that, Brandon. Thank you, man.